Now there are only 12 more hours to create the T5 Looney Tunes special out of this building site. And this morning starts under the eyes of the show visitors with grinding and sticking. As an additional security measure, the previously painted side skirts are prevented from slipping with sellotape. That saves time, otherwise Thomas would have to sit and hold the skirts for the next 20 minutes. The thinking behind it is that when they're in the right position, it can be left alone to dry. The mechanics have no time for the delights of the show. They couldn't cope with inspiration or last-minute changes now anyway. Thomas and Jens are now taking care of the new rear bumper. This should earn the T5 respect from the back too. For this, the tail lights have to be taken out as well and the new parts carefully installed. When you're mounting it, you have to be careful that the parts don't buckle and aren't bent extremely, otherwise the paint might crack. For a real bad boy look, the mechanics are carefully attaching the freshly painted front spoiler to the T5. It's the last bit for Thomas and Jens, but the minibus is still far from finished. I have around two more hours, which is quite tight because it has to be measured out, it has to be straight, and then it also has to look decent. The master of stickers will make sure that the T5 doesn't stand there completely naked. Normally you need a day just for the branding, but now it's got to happen a lot quicker. And that can also cause confusion with the reversed writing. I'm sticking on reverse lettering, so it has to be stuck on completely the other way around, right? A girlfriend would be useful right now because sticking it on and then scraping it off isn't possible. Firstly, because they have only one sticker, and secondly, because they don't have time. Anybody got a compact mirror? T5 owner Ronnie is already being congratulated, but the bus is still far from being finished because the clock is ticking, the final inspection is still due. The components work in this car and we can say with good conscience that the car meets regulations. As proof of the successful modification, the original and the blue bus stand next to each other. The team is relieved to have managed in 24 hours what others take weeks to do. It looks absolutely great. The boys have done top work. There are no complaints. The conversion has taken quite a toll of Ronnie's nerves, but that doesn't matter. The reconstructions are recorded and the cool car boss is most pleased about the fact that he doesn't have to take the train home. Brilliant. It all worked wonderfully. It hasn't quite sunk in yet. The boys really did finish in time, even the record. Everything is perfect. I can only say, all the best. I can drive home. Turingian curves and hot machines. Airport is the place for professionals and nuts. The main thing is that you have something to offer, like a record attempt for 24-hour express tuning.